Hello students. Today we are going to start a new topic, percentage. You have uh, studied about percentage in your earlier classes. Now we are going to work on it further. So our first question is convert the following percent into fraction in simplest form. Here, first thing, percent will be given. So whenever we have to remove a percent sign, we need to divide it with hundred. So here our question is seven whole number one upon two, and Percent sign is there. To remove this percent sign, I will divide with hundred. So here, first thing, I will convert it into improper fraction. Seven two is a fourteen plus one fifteen upon two percent. Now, fifteen upon two multiplied with one by hundred because I am removing this percent sign. Now fifteen and hundred both can be cancelled with five. So here three will be left and here twenty will be left. So I can write three and twenty here. Now three is multiplied with one and two is multiplied with twenty. So I will get three over forty. So this is how we can write percent into fraction. Now we come on our next question. A shop has five hundred shirts out of which fifteen are defective. What percent of shirts are defective? We need to find out the percent of defective shirts. It means fifteen are defective out of five hundred. So we need to find out percent of fifteen out of 500 so what we are going to do here 15 out of 500 means 15 over 500 and we need percent so we are going to multiply with 100 so now here 0 0 cancels out and we will get 15 over 5 that is 3 percent so 3 percent is our required answer now next question convert the following percent fraction into percent here you have the fraction given we need to convert it into percent so whenever we have to convert it into fraction uh, fraction into percent we need to multiply with 100% so here 3 by 7 is multiplied with 100% now 3 times 100 is 300 so we will get 300 over 7% now here we have another question this is your mixed fraction first thing we will convert it into improper fraction so 8 ones are 8 plus 3, 11 by 8 it will be. So 11 by 8, and we are converting into fraction. So I will multiply with 100 percent. So 11 into 100 will give you 1100. Okay, or we can cancel out with 4. So 8 is cancelled out with 4, and 100 is also cancelled out with 4. Here I will get 2, and here I will get 25. Now 11 is multiplied with 25. So I will get 275 over 2 percent. Now we come on next question. Convert the following percent into ratios in the simplest form. Here the percentage will be given, and we need to write it into ratios. Our first question is one whole number three upon four. So first thing I will write it into improper fraction. So four ones are four plus three is seven by four. So seven by four percent, and we are removing this percent sign. So I need to divide with hundred. So here seven upon four multiplied with one over hundred. Now seven times seven uh, one is seven, and four times hundred is four hundred. So I will get seven upon four hundred in ratio form. I can write seven is to four hundred. Now let us take another question. Three point seven five percent. So again I will divide with hundred to remove the percent sign. So thirty seven point five upon hundred. Now I am removing this decimal, so one zero will be increased in denominator. So I can write three seventy five upon hundred. Now both of them can be cancelled out with twenty five. So after cancelling out with twenty five, I will get fifteen over forty. Now I can see that both of them can be cancelled out with five again. So I will get three over eight. So I can write in ratio three is to eight. This is our required answer. Now we come on the next question. Express the following ratios as percentage. Now here the ratio will be given, and we need to write into percentage. So first thing I will write it into a fraction. So I can write two by three, and to convert it into percent, I will multiply with hundred percent. So here hundred percent is multiplied. Two times hundred is two hundred upon three. So I will get two hundred over three percent. So this is our required answer. Now we come on next question. A chalk contains calcium, carbon, and sand in the ratio 12 is to 3 is to 10. Find the percentage of carbon in the chalk. Now, carbon is 3 and 
here we need to find out the percentage in this so first thing ratio of calcium carbon and sand is given 12 is to 3 is to 10 now total ratio will be i need to add them all so total ratio will be 25 now i need to find out the carbon percentage carbon percentage is 3 i need to find 3 out of 25 so what i will do 3 by 25 divided by 100% so carbon percentage will be 3 out of 25 multiplied with 100 now this 25 can be cancelled out with 100 i will get 4 so 3 times 4 will give you 12% so 12% is the percentage of carbon now next question convert the following percentage to decimal now here the percentage will be given i need to convert it into decimal so here i have 0.44% now percentage again i am removing this percent sign so i need to divide with 100 so 0.44 over 100 now we have two zeros in the denominator so this decimal will be shifted two digits towards the left so here i can write it as 0.0044 so this is the decimal form of the percent let us take one more question 37 1 by 2 percentage so here now 1 by 2 can be written as 0.5 so 37.5 percent now i will remove this percent sign so i will get 37.5 over 100 now we have two zeros in the denominator again this decimal uh, decimal sign will be shifted towards the left so here i will get 0.375 in the answer this is our required answer now we come on next convert the following decimal to percentage now here the decimal is given and i need to convert it into percent so i need to multiply with 100% so 0.99 multiplied with 100% will give you 90% so this is the answer let us take one more example 0.02 now 0.02 is again multiplied with 100% to convert it into uh, percentage so here i will get 2% this is the answer